sometimes things happen that are unavoidable here we have about a gram of finger foils highly contaminated it's got a lot of trash in it what I'm going to do is I'm going to dissolve these foils with some common chemicals muretic acid that you can uh, you can buy it just about any hardware store and some household bleach and uh, you can get this at just about any um, supermarket this is about a, a gram of foils that's mixed with uh, just about every kind of trash you can think of it's leaves a little dirt um, some plastic whatever uh, but we're going to process them just like they were clean foils just a little muretic acid it doesn't take a whole lot and the bleach when these two are combined it creates a very toxic gas chlorine gas and uh, it was used as a weapon in World War II and World War One. It's highly toxic. So it's a it's a nice breeze blowing them outside, staying upwind. Add a little bleach. Let the reaction stop. Still have some foils. Normally I would give it several minutes before adding more. Um, it's just wasteful to keep pouring in uh, bleach, but for the sake of uh, expediency in the video, I'm going to add a little more. The smell of chlorine is very strong because it's it's actually chlorine gas being emitted and that's what dissolves the uh, the gold is the chlorine gas it may be hard to see for all the trash but the foils are being dissolved and the trash that's in there interferes with that uh, carbonaceous materials organics tend to slow down the dissolving process and just to give you some idea about what's going on in this process so far take a few drops and add a drop of stannous chloride very nice purple color there lets us know that gold is in solution the gold foils is being dissolved the fact that the trash is in these foils which will ultimately be in the gold 
is really of no consequence. Because I use coffee filters to filter. I have a little homemade setup that I use. It's a small colander. I've cut the handle off. These come with a handle. Cut the handle off. Uh, it's a small handheld colander. I place place filter inside the colander. I've got a small plastic bowl that I've drilled holes in. And the colander fits colander fits in the bowl. And the filter goes in this and then the whole thing sits on top when I filter so that's a little system that I've got worked up um, see I really didn't mean to spill this out so I'll use a use that filter to uh, wipe up my little spill this filter will be processed later with the rest of my filters that little bit of gold will be reclaimed that's just about done just about done let me spray the sides down. My handy dandy little spray bottle. Don't know what I'd do without it. Alright, about all that's left now is the trash in the solution I still see just a few little flakes in there so I'm gonna go ahead and add one more little dose Nice breeze blowing, keeping that chlorine smell away. All the foils is gone. Now we've got just a little trash left in there in the bottom. Now all of our gold is in solution. This solution is now gold bearing solution. Uh, I'll filter it out. All the trash will be gone. Um, I'll let it settle for what will settle. Then uh, after the chlorine has evaporated out of solution, um, probably heat this up to dry the chlorine off. Um, I'll dilute it with some water drop the gold with SMB do my rinses the washes involved I'll get my clean gold powder back out of this but there it is dissolving gold common household products muretic acid household bleach now this only works with foils and powders uh, you can't dissolve a ring or a necklace or something like that. It's even though it would, you would wind up 
with gallons and gallons of uh, solution trying to dissolve uh, a few grams of gold. So uh, this method is only for foils and powders. Now when I start to uh, when I start to filter this, I'll come back, give you a nice shot of the filter and, and the process for that. 